The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. Your farm tells a story, one that continues with the decisions you make. Introducing the Enlist Weed Control System, an advanced herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate for exceptional control of tough weeds. The next chapter begins. Our Weed of the Week is a winter annual. It is Field Pennycress. Well, in the fall, a lot of times you will see that Field Pennycress rosette stage where it's just low to the ground, kind of grows in a circular stage, uh, kind of has leaves not too unlike a dandelion leaves and then in the spring it will bolt up. When you've got a lot of field pennycress, here's, this is one of the easiest weeds in the world to identify because it stinks. It smells like garlic <laughs> and it's a strong odor. So if you have lots of field pennycress, literally the field will stink. And what, what I don't like about that is if you have cattle that are out there, especially dairy cattle, when they eat a bunch of field pennycress and they will eat it then their milk will start to taste like that garlic odor of field pennycress, and that's not a good thing either. You don't want to have garlic milk. I mean, it's hard enough drinking chocolate milk, Brian. <laughs> well, field pennycress is so named because the seed heads kind of look like little pennies. Again, this is a winter annual weed, so the reason why we're talking about it right now is because it's been growing all the way since fall, and by the time you get out there to do anything in the spring, even tillage, this weed could have some decent size to it. So even doing some light tillage out there may not be enough. We wanted to talk through the control options today as well. Well, field pennycress, one of the crops that I like to uh, uh, talk about control in is alfalfa. We get a lot of alfalfa stands get a little bit thin, maybe there's a little bit of winter kill, maybe it got cut really late in the fall, and all of a sudden you got some pennycress coming through. Bucktrail does a pretty nice job on field pennycress, and also Pursuit or Raptor can do a decent job on field pennycress too. So you have good options, but the big thing, kind of like what Brian was saying before, is you have to get out there early because it's going to have some size to it. You're going to need a full shot. So you're going to need that probably pint to pint and a half of Bucktrail, especially early in the season. And then on the Raptor and Pursuit, you're going to need a full rate there too. Now that's not a bad thing because there's probably some other weeds out there too that you're going to get under control. But spend the money. It's definitely worth it on alfalfa. That first cutting is worth so much money. And turning to corn and soybeans, we're much more concerned about the burn down activity here because this is a winter annual. We're not too worried about anything later on in the season if you get it under control right now. In a burn down for corn, I prefer Banville. You can certainly use Status, uh, maybe even 2,4-D if you wanted to. Banville is going to be a little bit safer to the crop. And again, this is burn down before the corn even comes well, up. Don't forget about using Verdict though. That yes. Sharpen is so good in there and especially on a weed like field pennycress it will do a nice job and then I should say too if you're mixing that with Roundup it's going to be lights out on just about everything. Post emerge buck troll or status would be good choices in corn. In soybeans for a burn down that's where it gets a little bit tougher. You can use that sharpen that you might in wheat or in corn but What's, you just can't use a very good rate. You can not, only use one ounce. It's not too bad. Typically that one ounce is going to be enough if you're mixing it in with a quart of Roundup something like that to get a good burn down start. Then post emerge I do like Pursuit and Raptor, Flexstar, and Cobra have got some activity too. We have a number of choices for field pennycrest control. Yeah, but don't forget authority is not too bad on it. And even Valor, not all that bad in terms of a burn down early on. Well, on Sencor too. Yes. You could use, or I should say, Metribuzin now. <laughs> yep. When we take a look at wheat here, we would suggest Sharpen down, but Prepare really isn't too bad either, and Prepare is a little bit less expensive than Sharpen. Post Emerge, if it was me, I'd go with Husky because it's got Bucktrill in it but you certainly could use one of the addition products as well. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but there's more Ag PhD to come after this.